Celebrity pregnancy announcements can be a really exciting occasion, especially when it's from celebrities that are very private or that everyone is speculating is pregnant. But like with most things in life, not everyone is going to be happy with what you do. And for some celebrities, the excitement of their pregnancy announcement took a backseat to the controversy that they had to deal with. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mackenzie here and today on the channel, I'm going to be filling you in on the top 5 most controversial celebrity pregnancy announcements. And honestly, I am just so excited to hear what you guys have to say about all of these controversial announcements and if they deserve the backlash or not. So let me know below and you might be featured in my next video in a comment shout out. And make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it just to see more juicy videos like this one. Alright now let's get into that list. So I have number 5 we have Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen is someone you're probably not surprised is on this list given how much controversy she finds herself in on the regular. However the reason she's on this list might shock you. If you didn't already know Chrissy and her husband experienced fertility issues so her children were conceived using IVF. But when Chrissy announced she was pregnant she was not only getting backlash for using IVF, which some people find unethical, but she also received backlash for picking the gender of her baby as well. Back in 2016, when she announced that she was pregnant with her first child, Luna, she sparked tons of controversy when along with the photo, she said, quote, not only am I having a baby girl, but I picked the little girl from her little embryo. After she announced this, she was met with tons of backlash, with people saying that they were disappointed that Tegan would prefer a specific gender, to accusations that male embryos could have been thrown away just so that she could get a girl. Chrissy responded to all this on Twitter, saying that she made a mistake thinking that more people understood the IVF process. Some doctors responded to the backlash, shedding more light on the process, saying quote, if you want to pick, you can pick, you're there anyway. What I find ethically objectionable are people who use IVF to pick gender, which gets into sexism, with the doctors adding that their main concern is the future of genetic selection, where traits such as height, left handedness, and even sexuality can become selectable. And they said this is a slippery slope we will have to address in the future. And and to give you some more insight on this debate, in Canada, doctors are not allowed to disclose the sex of an embryo during IVF because our value system is that men and women are the same. And this is something I had no idea about until researching for this video, but I thought it gave it a different angle. But please let me know what you're thinking about that one below. In at number 4, Grimes. When Grimes announced that she was pregnant with Elon Musk's baby, the internet exploded with people making memes clowning on the couple, along with people raising eyebrows at the way the pregnancy was announced. Grimes took to Instagram to announce the news, where she posted a nude photo of herself that also showed a fetus photoshopped onto her stomach. People were not quite sure that she was pregnant until she responded to someone's comment where they were praising her for not censoring her nipples. And she responded with a long comment, saying in it that she was knocked up. But the first post didn't last long as Instagram ended up removing the photo because they don't allow nipples to be shown on their platform, with the second photo she posted being photoshopped to cover the nudity, and the new caption reading, quote, censored for Insta, haha, <laughs> almost got away with it. With Instagram's policy on nudity reading that we know there are times when people might want to share nude images that are artistic or creative in nature. But for a variety of reasons, we don't allow nudity on Instagram, reads the policy. Instagram didn't immediately respond to a request for a comment either. And people obviously had some issues with the announcement, saying that she didn't need to show nudity to let people know she was pregnant. But at the end of the day, it's her body and if that's what she wants to do with it, that's how it's going to be done. Unless Instagram removes it, that is. In at number 3, Constance Hall. Constance Hall is an Australian blogger and TV personality, known for telling it like it is. But she had a lot of people mad at her after she announced her pregnancy with her fifth child. She announced the news on Facebook, with her writing, quote, Guys, the commune is welcoming another baby. I think I'm about 8 weeks, haven't been to a doctor or anything yet. We are not ready for this and I am petrified, babies terrify me. But are we happy? Yes. Well, I'm hormonal, I considered having an abortion this morning because Denzi slept in. Then she went on in the post to continue talking about how happy her and her husband were with the surprise pregnancy. However, people had a lot of issue with that joke about potentially getting rid of the baby, with people finding it very insensitive. On her popular radio program called The Queen Sesh, Constance opened up to her co-host Annalise Dent about why she chose to announce her pregnancy the way that she did saying, quote, I think that a lot of people thought that my announcement was a bit insensitive or controversial, but it's like, hello, I shouldn't be shocking anyone. It's not even controversial, you should have seen the original one, she joked, with her co-host quick to defend her comments, adding, quote, now that is you joking, that's your humor, you're sharp, that's just you. Then Constance opened up that even though it was just a joke, there was some truth in it, and she did think long and hard about if she was able to go through the process of having a fifth child. Clapping back at some of the haters, saying that if her child does happen to see her comments someday, she hopes they will choose to respect her thought process. In at number 2, Justin Bieber. A lot of people were mad at Justin Bieber after he posted this photo of a sonogram onto his Instagram. And he posted the photo on April 
1st, so many people were pretty sure that it was just an April Fool's prank and didn't take it all that seriously. Until he shared another picture of his wife Haley getting checked by what looked to be an obstetrician, but they're holding her hands on what looked to be a small baby bump. Add in the caption if you thought this was April Fools. With the speculation rising, people online seem like they might actually believe the announcement. Well, that's until Justin posted his last photo of the day, with him showing a picture of a sonogram yet again, but this time with a puppy on the screen instead of a baby. With the caption reading, quote, wait, oh my god, that's a April Fools. <laughs> and after all that, of course people were pissed. Chris Jenner even commented on the photo saying, ugh, I actually got chills. I almost cried, then I realized what day it is. Most people seemed to take it pretty well and laughed off the prank, but many didn't, and Justin and Haley were called out for the insensitive prank with some calling the couple's joke disgusting and disrespectful, saying it could hurt those that are struggling to have a baby. With one person writing, quote, nothing funny about pregnancy jokes. Do you know how many people are struggling to have a child or can't get pregnant? This ain't something to make an April Fool's joke of. And I definitely can see where people are coming from with this one. It, it definitely can be considered a little insensitive. And finally, number one, Marissa Mayer. Marissa Mayer, who is the CEO of Yahoo, had some up in arms when she announced she was expecting identical twins with her husband, revealing the news on Tumblr. But the 40-year-old mom sparked controversy when she revealed she would be taking a limited maternity leave when the twins arrived, saying that that since my pregnancy has been healthy and uncomplicated and since this is a unique time in Yahoo's transformation, I plan to approach the pregnancy and delivery as I did with my son three years ago, taking limited time away and working throughout. Mayor was actually hired in 2012 when she was pregnant and she returned to work only two weeks after she gave birth even using her own money to build a nursery in her own office for him. And even though many sent her words of encouragement and praised her decision to sacrifice some family time for the sake of her company, many did not. With some arguing that she wasn't setting a realistic example of a work-life balance because she's in a privileged position. With one Twitter user writing that she should advocate for those that get no paid maternity leave instead of standing with the system against those who want time off with their families. With others adding that they support her decision, but saying that more parents need the ability to make the decision with option of paid time off. And for this one, I appreciate that she's trying to be a boss bitch and not need any time off, but I also think we should make it more of a positive thing when people take time off instead of a negative. Like, there should be nothing wrong with needing more than two weeks to recover, especially after twins, but also she is the CEO, so it's not like someone could really, you know, cover for her. Although, I have no idea what kinds of things a CEO of a company like that would actually do. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one below. Alright, that's all from me for this list. Let me know what you're thinking below. Who do you think was the worst? And were there any that I missed? Because I was looking for a while and I was shocked that I couldn't find more, honestly. But before I head out, I'm going to shout out some comments from my video on celebrities you'd hate working for. So Art Christensen said, There's always two sides of the story. Sometimes people would make fake accusations just to make money off of a celebrity. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You do have to look at all sides, because these days anyone just wants like their 15 minutes of fame and an easy way to do that is to come out with some sort of claim against them. Then Domalia said, Io, Mike Myers, meanest person alive. Me, watching Austin Powers at work as we speak. It's so upsetting. I like, I'm still obsessed with him, I still love him, but it's just so sad when you learn celebrities are so two-faced. Then Kyle White said, what is it with celebrities and them not liking being looked in the eyes? Yeah, it's really, it's like a common thing at this point. I don't get it, but maybe they just don't want anyone to even like, Attempt to speak with them? I don't even know. Then Box Girl said, totally on the same wavelength. I wanted to be an assistant because I thought I could be like famous and stuff like Kim K was with Paris Hilton. Love the video, keep up the awesome work. Yeah, honestly, I think we all, we get it. Like if that's like a classic rom-com, maybe not rom-com, but classic story of, you know, young girl assistant turns famous. All that. I, literally, that's uh, Devil Wears Prada. I guess that's literally the movie of Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> Alright, that's all for me today. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here again, make sure to like and subscribe below. Also, follow the team on our Instagram to see more of us, and I'll catch you in the next one.